right, let me let me let me get to this. Hello, people. Me again. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. What? And to you, Steam Deck fans, man. Steam Deck tribe. Steam Deck nation. Steam Deck universe. Steam Deck world. Steam Deck legion. Steam Deck mob. And the Steam Deck squad. And let's not forget you, Steam Deck nerds and geeks, man. What's up with it? Now. Half-Life Half -Life 2 sequel launches on Steam, but it's not by Valve. <laughs> I guess Valve got their hands busy. Listen to this. A sequel to Half-Life has launched on Steam, adding a new campaign and voice cast to Valve's sci-fi FPS and brings the and bridging the gap between Portal and Half-Life 3. Hmm. Says your Half-Life 2 sequel has released on Steam. Bringing a new seven chapter campaign and full voice cast to the Royal of Valve definitive sci fi FPS and bridging some of the story gap between the 2004 original and the long awaited Half Life 3. <laughs> Says there, uh, intro in Trophy 02 is strictly speaking a Half Life 2 mod, but to describe in those terms we I mean would be reductive in actually this is a complete top to bottom new half-life single-player game focusing on squad of combined soldiers as they storm the futuristic prison Nova prospect and attempt to capture Gordon Freeman one-time ally dr. Judith Mossman <laughs> What a name. <laughs> Says here, full voice act and featuring a variety of new uh, mechanics, including improved enemy AI, new weapons, new enemies, and the ability to command your squad. And Trophy 02 also features a complete narrative based on events of Half-Life 2, Portal, and the possible story for Half-Life 3. Hmm. As you attack on... I see rebel base similar to the one teased by the image of the abandoned research ship uh, Borellis. It's also served as a sequel hmm, to the original Entrophy Zero release back in 2017, which centuries on the exploit of roguish combined officers simply known as Bad Cop. <laughs> Who says here, available for free on Steam, Entropy, uh, Entropy 02 is further proof that Half-Life community is alive and well. Yeah, it is. <laughs> After the Steam Deck came out, every, every Half-Life fan antenna was up like this. <clears throat> and that demands for Half-Life 3 remains as high as ever. Yeah. Earlier this month, players of the original game set a new record for Steam concurrent users and there was recently launched a fully act prequel for the 1998 Half-Life where you play as Gordon Freeman during during a day in the life at Black Mesa Lab. If you're still wondering about the future of Valve sci-fi FPS series, check out our guide to whatever happened to Half-Life 3. You might want to also take a look at some of the best FPS games on PC, hmm. as well as some of the best upcoming games, which one day we swear we 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 swear will feature an actual Half-Life 3 release date. Good things come to those who wait, man. Half-Life fans, be patient. Valve, Valve got a surprise though. <laughs> they're working on something, but they but like Gabe Noel said. We're keeping it to our hearts, <laughs> but um, but this is a good uh, a good little sequel, you know, you know, for I mean for Half Life Two, and um, it keeps the Half Life fans uh, busy, keeps them um, keeps their uh, their hopes alive for when Valve decides to make a Half Life Three, you know, and um, and um, go on from there, you know. What I mean, plus this game this. This little sequel will be getting updates, so that should keep them busy for the time being. Now, as far as Half-Life 3 goes, only time will tell. 
Well, we know a Steam Deck 2 won't be coming out for a while. So, and Gabe Noel is keeping it to his heart, so he's not saying anything. <laughs> so you best believe all the engineers are keeping it, keeping their lips sealed and not saying a word. So, when that time come, Half-Life 3 will show up. And um, then there's Portal. Of course, there's Left 4 Dead. So, Valve... The, all the employees at Valve are working and, they, and the game designers at Valve they're all working on something so only time will tell you know what games they will release and um, you know go on from there but in the meantime the Steam Deck is still doing the Steam Deck is doing its, doing its thing doing its damage and um, still getting games still getting updates um, the, the game library is still growing <laughs> They're still sorting games, so the year is not even over yet. And today is what the 22nd, so there's more there 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 is more news to um to come when it comes when it comes about when it comes about the Steam Deck. But for right now, this Half-Life 2 uh, prequel, you know, our sequel, <laughs> will 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 fill will fill the bridge the gap, fill the void until Half-Life 3 decides to show up. But the creators of Half of, of Half Life, you know, they're busy. So whatever they're working on, we will know in a couple of years, you know. But they're working on something, <laughs> and so is Valve, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I mean, this, I mean, um, you know, the Half Life fans, you know, just got to be patient. You know, um, Gabe Noel right now is got his hands full with that Steam Deck, man. You know, you know trying to stay. Trying to maintain their comp they're trying to maintain their competitive edge in this gaming industry and keeping that thing, you know, up to date and everything. So yeah, only a matter of time. A, por a new portal, a new uh, uh, Left 4 Dead, a new Half Life. One day, one day they will come. <laughs> Look, we got another article here from uh, I think it's gaming on a uh, gaming on Linux, it's talking about Humble Store has a big. Summer sale live lo lots on offer for Steam Deck and Linux. Says it is beginning of a fresh week, so maybe you want some new games. Well, Humble Store has a big, huge amount discounted in their some in their new summer sale that lasts until September the sixth. Today's the twenty second, so you got some more days. <laughs> Says you're getting over their getting over their offers. It can be obviously pretty daunting. And what to pick up pick up so here's a few suggestions and quick links to get more every get more every 48 hours they put up a couple of quick deals too so be sure to check out so be sure to check back on it always a little a few little <laughs> suggestions to grab that works great on Linux desktop and Steam Deck too <laughs> Says here, uh, Grim Dawn, 75% off. That's Steam Deck compatible. Uh, Wasteland 3, 67% off. Steam Deck uh, playable. Uh, uh, Risk of Rain 2, 50% off. Steam Deck uh, verified. No Man's Sky, 50% off. Steam Deck verified. No, no Nota, 50% off. Steam Deck verified. Uh, Valheim 40% off Steam Deck verified slash Linux native and then it says publisher sale 2k games 505 Bandai Namco Sega Square Enix and Techland and it says here uh, you can also see their page for big of big indie games for, of small but still awesome experience so there you go you, know, you got a half-life you got a half-life uh, half-life to deal with <laughs> and uh, um, Half-Life 2 sequel to deal with and you got some deals so you Linux you Linux Linux users and Steam Deck users your needs are met <laughs> got a lot of games to play you know? and plus those deals you know so yeah you got you guys are good man you know? um, more games to come um, Today's the 22nd, and Gotham Knights is what? Hmm, two months away. Hmm, you already got Spider-Man. Miles Morales is coming, so yeah. 
2022 is gonna be a good year for the um for the Steam Deck. And yeah. You guys got you you guys got enough games to hold you, but like I said before, there's 24 hours in a day. How many games can you finish? You need eight hours of sleep. Plus you gotta work. So how many how many games can you finish within a month? <laughs> yeah, you guys are good, man. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this, this these articles and a video for you all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek 5. Four, Dark Side. Now I'm gone. Peace.